Hey viewers, what's going on? Welcome back to Dr. Mario World, a ROM hack of Super Mario World, a project which is only available on the Naked Gaming group channel. So now we're starting world number 7, which is not precisely the last one, but actually I'm getting quite close to the end. This world is kind of tedious, there are a couple of levels which are actually difficult, unlike the rest of the game which is very easy as you have seen so far. This one, remember, gave me a little bit of trouble. Just waiting a little bit for me to grab the item. Oh, there you go. I thought I lost it. Or I was about to lose, to, to lose it. But we are fine. Well, until now. Yeah, some of these parts are actually very tricky, since... I remember especially one. Like this one. See, you, you get stuck. It's kind of strange. And these uh, suns are supposed to be moving through the crates, so it's difficult to follow a pattern in there. Same in here. Looks like these suns... I mean, these are not suns, but you know what I mean. Uh, they seem to be flying, so it's a little bit confusing. Just pin jump all the way if you can. I guess that's the best thing you can do in this case. I thought the, <laughs> the clouds were platforms. No Yoshi allowed. Wow, that was a glitch. I could have died because you normally die when you get stuck because of these glitches. Wait, do I have to kill this guy? No, it's another virus. Remember, no ghosts in here. No big boosts as such. That's what I mean. What you fight is this virus that replaces Big Boo's Sprite. And it is as big as Big Boo's Sprite, even if it looks smaller. I'm talking about the virus. Oops, I fucked it up. Yeah, it's difficult because it only takes... I mean, you only have those three blocks. And when you win, the fishing ghost also disappears. I used to die quite a few times in this level, especially because of that part of the potheads. Is that th that's the right name if I'm not mistaken? Rain. It's basically the same type of level. Alright, I have to get the five toad coins for me to pass. Pretty much the same objective you saw in the Crystal Castle, I believe, in, in the Ice World. It's a dark area. Gotta be careful with those munchers. You have to take different paths for you to get the five coins. You have to get all of them, otherwise you won't be able to pass. You will, you won't be allowed to pass. I see another one up there. Right, this one is probably the most tedious one to obtain. Gonna make very precise jumps. All right. Even if this is a dark room, it's not that terrible. I'm gonna turn the lights on anyway, but because, well, it is possible to see a little bit better, but trust me, you can see the enemies in a perfect way. I'm playing this on a window, of course, because I'm recording. Even so, I'm able to, to see what's going on. I have a good sight, anyway, so... I'm able to distinguish stuff from long distances, anyway. Alright, it, it is very possible to, to get hit in there. Oh, I still need to get a couple more of these uh, coins. I missed one. Could be up down there. No, it's uh, up here. Where is it then? I must have gone through some area without... Okay, I missed this one. Which is pretty easy. I need to get five. Still have to get one more. Oh, the one at the end, of course. I decided not to get this time. There you go, and you get midpoint. I think after this anyway you have to fight another mini boss or Yeah, let's say mini boss. Another of these viruses, which is probably more complicated than the previous battle. Still have three blocks. One of them is right above a pit, 
and you basically have to control timing here because these fuzzies are all over the place they keep appearing all the time so I prefer to leave the latest block which is the easiest one to deal with for the end, for the last hit oops no, I don't th think of breaking it yet, there we go good stuff, the, ac the, the virus is not actually that small in terms of sprite coverage so apparently there are no more patient houses I see one oh, probably it's just part of the of the map uh, decoration and Sally yeah I don't have to play more of those I think anymore uh, we have a tank level of course these things are not moving at like Super Mario Bros. 3 I think it is possible to see some moving tanks as such just like Mario 3 in some ROM hacks but it's a little bit of a more recent development or progress remember this is from 2004 they did what, it, what they could That's, those are shy guys uh, coming from the sky as well, not only bomb bombs kind of fucked up sprite when they are falling in the parachute if you can see it I don't know, shy guys look very weird being looked at by the front must be, uh, of course it is a uh, oops a uh, customized sprite this one, I think I haven't been able to get any power up in here that makes the level especially difficult. Alright, speaking of the devil, but I got bullet build. I got bulleted. Yeah, I insist, a couple of these levels are possibly the hardest one in the entire game. The game in general, and I have made this comment before, is extremely easy. As a whole. But there are a couple of tedious levels and I am precisely playing through those right now this is the one before the last world just in case just be careful with the jumps usually because of this enemy is falling at random area, so watch your jumps. Alright, go to the end. And I think I have to fight. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to find another. Well, this is a virus, technically. But not on a boot sprite. And that was Iggy Koopa. But of course, another virus took over him. A little virus, but the, the, the boss battles as such don't change at all. You are definitely aware of that by now. There is another level before entering the last world, which is the pot virus. Well, you will see who it is. This level, yeah, give me a little bit of trouble too because of the lack of power-ups and oh, it is out of scrolling, takes time and all that alright, sorry about that, a little interruption but we're fine at least I can pause the recording and continue on bullet bills you can, yeah, I mean, I was about to say you can stay underwater but they also attack you underwater, so... Oh, in this part you can actually spin jump the <laughs> freaking torpedo tets and get up here instead of be swimming, right? There we go Pretty comfortable this way, but I still have to deal with a couple of tedious parts I remember one in particular, oh shit Alright, that was fucking gay well, everything is prepared, I suppose. That's the whole point. Alright. These are bloopers, which are actually... 
Rape fish. Alright, I'll stupid jump. That's difficult to do both. Jump for you to escape from the fish and on the other hand avoid the freaking bullets. That's why this level is pretty complicated. Basically because of the length, right? That's my main focus. You can kill the fish and get the power-up. Try to keep as much as you can because still this is not over yet. I think the best solution here is try to kill this fish. I think you can kill them underwater anyway. Okay, surprise fish area. Usually there are safe spots in this uh, surprise fish parts. Stay in the very middle of the two sources. Who am I fighting now? Oh, of course. Viruses, but basically replacing the Resnors. Right. That's why I didn't want to spoil anything, but yeah, this is actually an interesting idea. <laughs> I don't know, I liked it. Battle itself is the same, but I don't know. They try to be creative in terms of how the enemies look like, at least. All of them viruses, it makes total sense taking into account I am Dr. Mario. And we got to the Mushroom Kingdom, which is our last station, our last world uh, from the official game itself. I still have to play the secret world. I'll take care of that pretty much at the end of the game. So, I think we have time for one more level. Welcome back to the Kingdom Mario. It's quiet here because everyone is sick. Something up, Something's up at Peach's Castle. Someone took it over. That's the most sensible theory you can think about it. If you start somewhere else different from the Mushroom Kingdom and you end up in the Mushroom Kingdom, it means you are returning in order to save someone, in this case Peach, whose castle got took over. That's my theory from it. I did it! Oh my god! Fucking jumps are very simple, even so I fail. Not the keyboard's fault, it's completely my responsibility. I think this uh, background is from Mega Man X3, not certain. Oh, boners! A more Donkey Kong Country, I thought that was over. But apparently not. Midpoint this time without glitches. Probably the. the weird backgrounds, or at least the, back, the 3D-like backgrounds cause the, the glitchy pills as the checkpoint. That's another supposition. 50 lives. Not that I really care much about, honestly. Another well, power-up for shits and giggles. Well, it's actually necessary here. And of course, I ended up losing it. I'm not surprised at this point. Trust me. Okay, I think it is a good idea to stop the video here. Next time, I'll make as much progress as I can for me to reach pretty much the end of the game. Even if I still have to go through the secret world and all that, but... You know, getting closer and closer every time, that's the idea. See you later!